You ever seen like a cob of corn? That cob is called, in Arabic, it is called sumbula. Sumbula. Sumbula is singular. Sumbulat. That's plural. That is plural. But the Arabic language is kind of cool because you can have more than one plural. For one word. I'll give you an example that you know. Kafir. Kafirun. Kufar. Nabi. You can say Nabiyun. You can say, what else? Anbiya. You have multiple plurals. It happens all the time in Arabic. So in the Arabic language, Sumbula is singular. What was the plural? Sumbulat. And there's another plural, Sanabil. In the Arabic language, they have a concept that you can have singular, you can have plural, and you can have super plural. Sumbula is singular. Sumbulat is plural. Sanabil is what? Super plural. So the more powerful plural is which one? Sanabil. Now let's turn to the Quran. In Surah Al-Baqarah, Allah Azza wa Jal mentions the ear of grain, Sumbula, but He mentions the plural. He says, مَثَلُ الَّذِينَ يُنْفِقُونَ أَمْوَالَهُمْ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ كَمَثَلِ حَبَّةٍ أَمْبَتَتْ سَبْعَ سَنَابِلْ سَبْعَ سَنَابِلْ Is that the regular plural or the super plural? That's the super plural, okay. When you turn to Surah Yusuf, it's the only other time the plural is used. Allah Azza wa Jal says, وَقَالَ الْمَلِكِ إِنِّي أَرَى سَبْعَ بَقَرَاتٍ سِمَانٍ يَأْكُلُهُنَّ سَبْعٌ عِجَافٌ وَسَبْعَ سُمْبُلَاتٍ خُضْرٍ سُمْبُلَاتٍ Ah, so the weak plural is used in Surah Yusuf. And the strong plural is used in Surah Al-Baqarah. What's crazier is in Baqarah, Allah is talking about seven of them. سَبْعَ سَنَابِلْ Sab'a sanabil, seven of them. And in Surah Yusuf, Allah is also talking about seven of them. Sab'a sumbulat in khudr. Seven of them both times. So the number is equal. This is seven and that is seven. Then how come one is more powerful and one is weaker? You would say if one is 75 and the other is seven, okay, I understand this one's more powerful and this one is weaker. But mathematically speaking, both of them in number are what? They're the same. Now in English translation, it says seven ears of grain in Surah Al-Baqarah. And in the English translation, when you go to Surah Yusuf, what does it say? Seven ears of grain. The translation is identical. There is no difference in translation. But Allah chose to use the powerful plural in Baqarah and the weaker plural in Surah Yusuf. How come? When you look at Surah Al-Baqarah, Allah says those who spend, the example of those who spend for the sake of Allah, in the path of Allah, is like a single seed. And every seed gives birth to seven ears of grain. Inside every year, there are a hundred seeds. And Allah multiplies on top of that for whoever He wants. The context of the ayah is, you will take one, you will turn it into seven, every seven will give you another hundred each. On top of the math you can do, Allah has His own calculations. وَاللَّهُ يُضَاعِفُ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ Allah multiplies in His own way, above and beyond that, for whoever He wants. Meaning this calculation is beyond human capability. Is this a context of weakness or power? So the powerful plural is used. When you turn to Surah, Al- Surah Yusuf, the king sees a dream. Fat cows, skinny cows, seven ears of corn. And the dream is interpreted. And what does the dream mean? You will have seven good years and then you will have seven bad years. Is the seven good years going to give you unlimited resources or limited resources? Limited resources and you have to use them carefully and you have to store them because you will need them for the next seven years. Is this a context of more powerful or weaker? Weaker. In the weaker context, Allah used sumbulat. In the more powerful context, Allah used Sanabil, it's the same word, it's the same number. Is that capable? Are we capable of doing that as human beings? Subhanallah. Just the way Allah describes a single word. A single word. 